I'm on a mission to fight the coded gaze, my term for algorithmic bias that can lead to discriminatory practices or exclusionary experiences, like the one I had when I had to put on a white mask just to have my face detected. And this is a story I've shared broadly with the TED Talk with over one million views. And I thought somebody might try to check my claims. So I checked myself. And using my TED profile image, I found that some companies didn't detect my face. And the ones that did labeled me male. I also learned that one in two adults, that's over 130 million people in the US, has their face in a face recognition network that can be searched unwarranted using algorithms that haven't been audited for accuracy. And in places like the US, UK, where pilots do have performance metrics shared, the numbers aren't looking too great. In fact, you even have a case with two innocent women being falsely matched with men. And because of the magnitude of these issues, this is why I focused my MIT thesis on understanding the performance of facial analysis technology. But before I could really get into understanding the performance, I ran into a problem. The benchmarks used in this field tend to be largely pale and largely male. And as a result, I had to create a new data set. So the data set I put together was more improved when it comes to gender parity, as well as having a wider representation of skin types. And then I could finally get to my research question. How accurate are some of the leading tech companies at the task of binary gender classification? And if you look at the overall results, it seems OK, 88% to 94. But when we start to do a breakdown by gender, we encounter a few gaps. And if we do that same kind of analysis by skin type, again, we're seeing better performance on lighter faces and darker faces. If we do an intersectional breakdown, here we see even larger disparities. We have air rates no more than 1% for lighter males, no more than 7% for lighter females, 12% for darker males, and 35% for darker females in aggregate. If you disaggregate that, we actually get close to a coin toss for commercially sold products. So I shared these results with the tech companies. IBM got back, and in fact, they made significant improvement. But even if you make improvements with these technologies, how they're deployed is just as important, and we need more oversight to make sure the technology is used ethically. We also need to make sure the general public has a better understanding of the social implications of AI, which is why I'm starting Game of Tones, product testing for inclusion. I'm Joy Blumwini, the founder of the Algorithmic Justice League. I tell stories to make daughters of diaspora's dream and sons of privilege pause. Thank you.